Shalom, shalom. Let the Rapper giving all praises, all honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Say it takes to you, brothers, through the four corners of the earth, doing this work in truth and sincerity. And I want to name this lesson Comfort to Your Ears. Okay? Comfort to Your Ears. Because, you know, these scriptures are the comforter. Okay? They are a comfort to our ears. You know? And it's not like, uh, you know, what they're doing in these churches, doing our prosperity doctrine, you know, this is the truth, okay? Because this is the way. All right? Now, I want I named it comfort uh, to your ears because, like I said, uh, uh, this is the truth. When, when you hear that, when, we, when the men of the Lord break these different things down out of scriptures the right way, it is truly a comfort to your ears, you know, because prior before, uh, you know, coming to this truth, I didn't know uh, anything out of scriptures, you know, I didn't uh, know that uh, who the people the world only called Jesus. I didn't know he was a, a so-called black man. I didn't know the heavenly father was a so-called black man. I didn't know uh, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, you know, Moses and King David. And, 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 the, and the apostles and, and, the, and the people of the Bible I didn't know that they were Israelites Matter of fact I didn't even know Myself was an Israelite okay, Which I learned all this information Through the Bible and from the men that The Heavenly Father set up uh, The apostles and the elders of Great Millstone You know And on down to the different brothers on now So you know Thawada and double honors to them You know and the different brothers that I learned Through, through Great Millstone But I didn't know none of these things and, and as the Heavenly Father uh, woke me up, uh, that became a comfort to my ears. Did they finally hear that what? Uh, you are uh, uh, the so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans. That we are God's chosen children. God's chosen people. After uh, we, we've been beat down for so long and taught that we were from Africa and we was nothing but slaves. And, and, and you know, nothing would never get better for us. I come to find find this truth, you know. So I don't know what's wrong with Jake out here. That nothing can possibly get better for us here, but the coming of our Lord and Savior. Okay, who the world only called Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shah. When the Heavenly Father Yahweh sends His Son back, what can be better than that? To be part of the elect. Okay, that's the main mission. That's the main goal, to be a part of the elect, to get into the kingdom. Okay? All this, this all this wickedness from the earth to be seized. You know? Aren't you, you tired of a uh, uh, woman ruling over you? Uh, uh, seeing homosexuals and lesbians walk up and down the street, uh, being promoted through the witchcraft on the TVs and the, uh, uh, the radio, you know? It's too, so bad to the point where they're, they're starting to teach it in schools and it's on uh, uh, your, your, your children's television, you know, in the cartoons. You know, all the music is talking about adultery, smoking weed, uh, 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 you know, just a whole bunch of wickedness and folly. Okay, and the only thing that you can really get the comfort by is what? Being with the brotherhood and the brother and inside these scriptures. Okay, so let me quit ranting and pull out this scripture. Psalms 119 and 50. This is my comfort. This is King David speaking. This is my comfort in my affliction. For thy word have quickened me. That's right. You know. The word has the word will quicken you. Because it, 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 it's your spirit that will quicken. You know. If Yahweh Shai, if he's dealing with you, uh, you know, he'll put that spirit on you for you to understand. Okay? And when we're going through different trials and tribulations out here, this is what uh, 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 keeps us in the spirit of our affliction. Because whether people uh, like it or not, America is nothing but our uh, 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 captivity, which is which is our last captivity, and we will soon be saved out of this misery. You know, and Lord will I will be a part of the elect. You know, that will be del del delivered from the uh, the different. The destruction and plagues and wrath that's about to come on this place. Because this place has to get cleansed. And this place will get cleansed by thermonuclear fire. Thus saith the Lord. 
you know. So once again, uh, uh, reading these scriptures, standing in this word, uh, uh, listening to different brethren, this is a comfort to my ears and a different, you know, different other brothers and sisters that may be, you know, uh, 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 trying to follow the ways of the Heavenly Father to the best of their ability. This should be a comfort to your ears. No more wickedness to be able to rule the kingdom in righteousness. You know, no more going to work, getting up every day, uh, 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 working for the so-called white man, paying all these bills for nothing. When things were free, you know, drinking this lead water and all the other chemicals they put in it, uh, uh, eating all this GMO food, you know, uh, uh, the chemtrails in the sky making you sick. Like, how can this place be even, how can you be even comfortable in this type of environment? This is not our home. This is not our rest. All right, so I'm going to bring that, that scripture out uh, uh, soon to finish this little will. Psalms 119 and 50, it says, This is my comfort and my affliction, for thy word have quickened me. That's right. Because this is the, uh, the only thing to keep you uh, uh, in the right mind frame. This is why it was put here. It was put here for the men of Yahweh Bashin to uh, you know, do the work, push the work, wake up, wake up the elect, and for us to what? To follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. You know. Uh Micah two and ten. It says, Arise ye, depart, for this is for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, and it will destroy you even with a sore destruction. Man, our people are far gone, man. You don't see the condition of our people? The the, the men wanna be women, the women wanna be men. Uh uh there's 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 laws being passed where uh two couples can get married. Uh, of the same sex well that's wickedness that's not according to the scriptures uh they're pushing uh, uh transgender and all these different things on the kids at a young age it's in their school books uh, uh our people are strung out on drugs you know all these different things that uh, uh we are being destroyed we're uh, being polluted you know and a focus is uh, 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 on whose communities the so-called negroes latinos and native americans the whole plan is to, to, to take you out because what they know that you're the Lord's chosen people. That should just be a comfort to your ears right there. Just to hear that. Hold on. We're the Lord's chosen people. You know, only reason why you don't think that you're not because uh, the certain conditions in you in. But if you come back to the, uh, the scriptures and you get taught by the, the men that's teaching this truth, you will know why, why that we are in these conditions. We're in these conditions because we messed up, okay? Starting with our, 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 uh, some of our uh, ancestors before that, they messed up, but we are continuing uh, on the same path as they was. You know, worshiping I uh, different idols, worshiping other gods, breaking all the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, okay? So this is why we were we were we were put in this captivity in different captivity after captivity after captivity. Okay. But you know, we are uh we're we're ready to be we're seeking to be out of here, you know. And Lord will, you know, the different brothers that's out here doing doing this work and and the different, you know, few sisters over their household that we will be saved from this. Okay, because what? We need salvation. What people need salvation on this earth? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are the ones that need salvation. Okay? Hebrews 13 and 14. It says, For here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. That's right. Because what we are seeking, we're seeking the kingdom. Okay? The kingdom of heaven, okay, which will be on earth, that we will, the so-called Israelites will rule in righteousness, starting with um, Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai and King David, then 144,000, 
you know, will be the men in order. You know, ultimately the heavenly Father will be on uh, uh, the one on top. You know, but you know, I'm just giving you an order. We will be in the right rulership, but there will be no more pollution. Okay. No more all these different things happening. Uh, Jake won't be getting shot down in the street by these cops. Jake won't be selling the different uh, people all these different drugs. Jake won't be running around robbing our people. None of that will be going on in the kingdom. This is what we're seeking for. This is what we're hoping for. Okay? You know, and, and, and when we tell our different people this on the highways and byways, or however you're getting the message out, you know, you know, it's supposed to be on the highways and byways, but I'm talking about if you uh also are on a unicorn pushing it on YouTube and maybe different social sites or, or whatnot, our people it's just it doesn't it's not resonating with them. And that's how you, you know that some of our people have to stay blind. Because if we're telling you that you're the chosen people and that we're getting ready to rule in righteousness and there will be no more filth. There will be no more uh, different uh, 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 people sleeping with each other's wives. No more uh, all this abominable, different, defiled food we eat and different things like that. If this doesn't, if that doesn't come to your mind where you want to get out of here, I don't know what to tell you. Because that is supposed to comfort you. Here we are to have been in, in America, what, over 400 years or not. And all we have been taught is lies. And we come to you with the truth, the comforting truth of the scriptures. So-called Negro, Latino, Native American have a problem with it. It's like y'all want to stay stuck in y'all lives. You know? And this is supposed to be comforting to you. Okay? Read that again. Psalms 119 and 50, what I started with, it says... This is my comfort and my affliction, for thy word have quickened me. That's right. All through the spirit, what does this, this word have, have have quickened me as well, you know, to, to get myself right, to get myself together. Okay. Now, what I wanted to get, you know, to add on to that, uh, uh, Psalm 19 and 50 was John what? 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That's right. Because what we are speaking, we're speaking life. Okay? We're, we're, we're speaking, uh, 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 we're, we're giving you that, uh, that water, which is the, how the true baptized Tism of the scriptures, you get baptized by the water or the, uh, the washing of the word, which is, you know, this word is the water. We are, we are, uh, uh, when we speak this word to you, we're giving up, waking up the dry bones that you are. If you don't know who you are as a people, you are dry bones. If you keep listening to the oppressor of him telling you who you are, you are dry bones. And if you're not trying to seek the truth for uh, of what's going on, then you're just of dry bones and you're in a congregation of the dead. You know. There's so many different things that I can I, I, I can I can bring out according to the scriptures that we need. Because what? We as a people we need salvation. Okay. Um you know to find out that uh, we have grace that we may uh uh partake salvation after all the wickedness that you may have done, you can be found without God. Who who doesn't want to be a part of that? Let's, who who doesn't want to be with a uh, 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 reigning with uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai, found with no God? You know, a, a chance to uh, uh, be cleansed from your sins. Ultimately, so you don't get destroyed here in America, okay? Because all hell is about to break loose out here in America. You wanna you want you want you and your family, okay, to uh to the to, to, to be the Lord's will. You want them to escape martial law. You want them to escape the race wars. You want them to escape the cannibalism going on. You want them to escape the famine. 
and all these different things that's about to come on this place. But you can't do it unless what? You got the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh covering you. Okay, so let's read that. Revelations, it's a lot. <laughs> Revelation 14 and 1. It says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Sion, and with them 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And we know those men will, will, will be the elect. Okay, and it says, And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, and a harp. It's a lot. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with the harps, their harps. And they sung it, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. No man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. So the only uh, people that can learn that song is the elect. Okay, you can't learn this song if you're not part of the elect. This is why a lot of people, uh, you can't get it because it's not for you. Okay. And you're going to stay blind on this side and be destroyed. And you're going to come back in the kingdom through someone's loins. That's just going to ha ha have to be. Lord will, I, I don't be a, a, a part of that two-thirds side. Okay. Verse 4. It says, These are they which are not defiled with women. Meaning what? The philosophies. For they are aversions. You know, because of what? Aversion is clean. All right. And it says, these are they which follow the lamb whatsoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high and to the lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the most high. Okay. So you will be found out. You will be found uh, without fault. You know. Because, hey, man. All the wickedness you have done, man, you know. Uh, 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 that's why we we, we we at a grace period because according to the law according to the scriptures no one will make it according to the law you know so that's why it's it's, it's through the grace of uh, Yahweh Shai through the faith you know because ultimately what he died for the elect okay you know but continuing on like I was uh, uh like I stated before you know uh, you know, cause you got a different lot of, you got a lot of people. You know, you got a lot of people that says they love, uh, they love, you know, like people like to say they love their kids and, and, and they love their woman and her family and all these different things. Well, if, if that's truly being said, if you, if you really love them, you're supposed to do, you're supposed to do what? You're supposed to serve Yahweh Yahweh Shah. If, if that's what you're truly saying, you know, because we do this to what ultimately seek, seek salvation for ourselves, but also what you want your household uh, uh, saved from the catastrophic events as well. OK, so what we, we go out there, we teach this word in true sincerity, trying to upload the videos, upload the brethren and, and, and warn our people from what's to come. You know, continue to do the works in faith that what? Through hope that we may be saved. Okay, so Joshua 24 and 15 it says, And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So that's what Joshua would say. He said, For me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Okay, because what we know, uh, uh, our some of our forefathers, they were going off. They were serving uh, some of the gods of the other nations, which are no gods but idols. But you know, our people wasn't in, into heavy idolatry, which our people are still heavy into now to this day. This is why the heavenly Father had Abraham uh, get away from his father, because they were heavy into uh. uh Worship, worshiping of other gods. Okay. You know, but back to what I was getting into, what? Uh, uh, this is a comfort to our ears. Okay. This is truly a, a, a comfort to our ears. How can it not be? You know, let's, let's pull up some more scriptures that was, that's, you know, just comfort to our ears. 
want to get Isaiah. Hmm. Isaiah 11 and 6. It says, <clears throat> start at verse 5. It says, And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. It says, The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. And the calf and the young lion and the fallon together, and a child shall lead them. So that's telling you in the kingdom that your little son or daughter will be able to lead a, 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 a cow or a young lion. Your, your, your child couldn't do that in these days, man. You know? Verse 7, it says, And the cow and the bear shall feed their young ones, shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And a sucking child shall play on the hole of an ass, and a weaned child shall put his hand on a cockatrice den. That's a lot. So right there, that's telling you, man. You know, a, 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 a lion... You know, a lion's going to eat straw. Because usually what? A, a lion's a meat eater. You know? You watch different videos of lions. How they uh go and tackle the uh the little... uh What's the little things called? Mm -mm, it's dead. They go tackle all the little different things. What is they call? Zebras and different things like that. You know? But the point of, uh, of why I brought that scripture out was because what? Our kid, we not going to have to worry about our kids in the kingdom how we do now, man. You know, right now, if, you, if, you, if your kid go out of your sight for two minutes, you'll lose your man because there's so many pedophiles and, and, and different things that can happen to them in this society. You know, you got to keep an eye on your kid. So in, in this time, you're not going to have to keep an eye on your kid. You know, because there ain't going to be none of that wickedness going on, you know. So you're not going to have to fear for your child. You know, who 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 doesn't want that? You know. Uh, let's get a. Revelation. 13. In 9, it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Captivity, And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. And here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay? So that's telling you what? We we know who led us in captivity. Know the so-called white man. Okay? All, and all you, you you other nations, okay? You had, some, had, had parts in that, okay? You, you, you so-called Arabs, you know? You, you, you so-called Africans. All right. Y'all ain't have parts. But guess what? It says, he that leave him to in captivity shall go into captivity. And he that kill him with the sword must be killed with the sword. So the same thing y'all done unto us will be recompensed back unto y'all. You know, that's joy to my ears. All the all the wickedness that they done to our people, feeding our babies the alligators, hanging us on street poles and light poles, and sending them as, uh, as postcards to their fellow brother Edomites. All across the world, you know, or all across America, I should say, you know, hanging us on uh, uh, telephone poles and burning us, cutting off our, our, our different private parts. Uh, what else? You know, bombing our whole communities. Uh, doing what? So much just wickedness, man. Uh, Esau, the so-called white man's wickedness is just at an all-time high. Okay. But guess what? That's a comfort to your ears to know what the so-called white man is going into slavery. OK, he's going to be under our foot. Period. And there's nothing, nothing, no one can do about it. But that's a, a, another comfort to our ears. It's not just about them going into slavery. I mean, that's a good thing that we want, but there's more to it. It's to be in the kingdom kingdom and, and be following in uh you know, fall in the ways of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, and righteousness, you know, not having to worry about uh, if we can keep the laws or not, because they will be written in our inward parts, so we won't go off, you know.
you know. Hey man, so I I, I just don't know how this is just not a, a, a joy to your ears. You know, cause it, it sure is a joy to man, you know. Joel three and one it says for for behold in those days in that time when I shall bring again the captivity captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will plead with them for my people, possessive pronoun, and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people, and they've given a boy for a harlot, and sort of girl for wine that they might drink. And that's what they did to our people, man. You know, they sold a, 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 a young male of our nation to what? To use him as a male prostitute and have sex with him, and use him as a sex slave. And they sold our our, 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 our daughters to for wine. You know? It says, yea, and what you have to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine, will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? And because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. Into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold into the Grecians. That ye might remove them far from their border. And their border was what? Uh, uh, Israel. Okay. Our homeland. Jerusalem. Okay. It says what? You sold the what? The southern kingdom and the northern kingdom to what? The Grecians. And we know them Grecians is who? You Edomites. Okay. And, and, and when did this happen? Y'all grabbed us up in, uh, you know, mainly West Africa and different parts of Africa. The Africans rounded us up. Cause they they knew the dis distinction between us. Um, the Arabs built the slave ships. The Jewish, the the Jewish Edomites, you know, the called y'all 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 financed it, and what? Uh, uh y'all sold us to the Grecians, okay? Which which you uh, Ashkenazi Jews or Jewish people, I like to say, you're 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 just top level Edomites, okay? But here's the point. Verse 7, it says, and behold, I will raise them out of the place where you have sold them, and I will return your recompense upon your own head, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabaeans, to the people, to a people far off, for Yahweh have spoken. So all the things that you have done, you are going to have to pay. We're going to sell your sons and daughters into slavery into other people. There's no way around it, and that's uh, uh, just a part of the comfort comfort to my ears, you know. Just to know when you look at you uh, uh, every day, to know that you're going down, you know. You won't be ruling this earth for no more wickedness, you know. My daughters will not uh, uh, have to grow up, and I know the different brothers, you know, may feel the same. That our children is not going to have to grow up in this wickedness, man. Seeing all this wickedness, now, and, and we can't do nothing about it. That they gotta grow up uh uh seeing all this transgenders going on, all these homosexuals going on. Okay, and we can't keep the law because we're in a captivity, you know, we can't keep the laws to the scriptures and we can't do nothing about it. We just had to suck it up, you know. But hey, with patience, you know, we, we know we we trying to attain this attain the kingdom, obtain the kingdom. Okay. Now I wanna uh a closing scripture. I think I got two of them. Romans 5 and 2. So that one, it says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, by whom also we have access by faith. And into, the, into his grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of the most high that's right you know we 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 have faith and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of the most high okay because we know uh the heavenly father's words is true man you know yahweh's words is true man he will not forsake his people you know 
the ones that's just trying to follow him, follow his ways and 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 do the things do the things right. Um, I'm gonna jump to eight. It says, but the Most High commanded His love toward us, and that while we yet Sinners, Yahweh died for us, meaning what he died for the elect of the nation of Israel. Ultimately, he died for all of us, but the elect of the nation of Israel on this side. You know, because the rest of you, like I said before, you two thirds, y'all be uh, born in the kingdom. Okay, and y'all gonna be ashamed for y'all uh, your wickedness, and you didn't want to come back to the heavenly Father when he was calling you. You know, you know giving you chance after chance and chance. So the heavenly Father is very merciful. Okay, and y'all starting to take his his uh his kindness for weakness. That's how you people look at it. It's, it's like you're taking the heavenly father's kindness for weakness, but you think you plan him, but you plan yourself. Okay. It says much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. That's right, through the half of Yahweh Shai. Uh For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to the Most High by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, by whom we have now received the atonement. That's right. You know, because what? You got to serve, the order to serve the Heavenly Father, you got to go through his son. That's just the order that it, how it is. So for all you you Old Testament Israelites, man, that's a cut, man. You can't even serve Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, without uh, his son Yahweh Shai, because what? Uh, Yahweh Shai is the mediator, okay? And y'all like to say that uh, uh, there is no son and all that. Well, who died for your sins? Who? I'll be waiting. Who? Who? Okay. Closing scripture. Uh, Romans 15 and 4 says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So everything that was uh that was written down in the scriptures was written for our learning. You know, how to handle yourself in certain situations, how to how how to be tried and go through different tribulations. And how to deal with it, you know, and keep the faith. Read the story of Job, okay? Read the story of, uh, uh, of King David, King Solomon, you know, uh, uh, what the apostles went through, their different trials and tribulations. Uh, Paul, Stephen, you know, that's why there's all these different accounts in the scriptures to how to guide yourself and how, and how to, uh, you know, how to be, how to be, try to be to the best of your ability in the right manner and order. It's all in the scriptures. Read that again. Close out Romans 15 and 4 said, Whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And like I started off with the, 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 the first uh, scripture, Psalms 119 and 50, the what? Uh, uh, the scriptures is the comfort in our affliction. You know, just reading in Barbados, or not Barbados, but just. Uh, I'll just get it instead of quoting it wrong. Psalms 119 and 50, like it says, This is my comfort and my affliction, for thy word have quickened me. And what? The comfort is what? These scriptures. It's the only thing that's going to comfort you. Okay? So knowing that what? Uh, we have a chance of being saved out of here. Man, that should bring uh, uh, comfort to your ears, man. Just to know we about to about to get the kingdom back, and we about to rule in righteousness. And there'll be no more wickedness out here going on this earth that we're daily vexed with. It's a comfort to our ears. May Yahweh Bashan Yahushua come deliver us soonly out of this uh, 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 hell hole that we're in, okay? Because hell, hell, it means uh, come from the Greek word Hades, and it means what? The grave. Or it means a condition. And right now we are in hell. This is America's hell for the Negro and Latino and Native American. Alright. 
So I like this give all praise, all honor, glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's the Heavenly Father, and that's his, his only begotten Son. May he come back soon to deliver us. Hope this was edifying. You know, I ran it on a little bit, but you know, I just had to get this video out here, man. I just been been, been pondering on it a little bit. Just just thought about it in the, in the head. All right, that shalom.